Hey guys, Jeremy Wells here. If you're getting this on YouTube, make sure to go over to my site, jeremywellsgolf.com, to check out my newest stuff. I got yours truly up here. Had a few minutes to hit today between lessons and uh, wanted to post it. Show you guys what I'm working on. What I like, what I don't like. So. Start on the right here. Always trying to make a nice trunk turn, get the logos on my shirt moving, collarbone turning. You know, the first, I like that. I like it left arm parallel being, trying to be close to 90 degrees turn. It's a good start. One kind of goofy thing is I overset the club. It's something I want to keep an eye on. To me, that means I'm getting a little handsy here as I start this takeaway. Just adding a little too much to that. If I get to the top, fully wound up, I'm going to lower into the ground, get my legs flexed, start rotating, watch the belt buckle, looking like it's moving inward, rotating around. My goal is to keep my belt buckle turning all the way till I hit the ball. So everything I do is to make sure I don't stall until after the ball has gone away. So we want to get as open as possible. Club's always trailing. Hips, chest always opening. Sets me up into a position where I can get this right arm angled inward, like so. That would be considered external rotation, as opposed to internal rotation where the right arm will hang back, like so. Something I see very often. This club gets to parallel to the ground. My hands will be even with the golf ball. That ensures that I'm going to be able to lean this shaft forward. That's a lot of forward lean. It's a nine iron. So, you know, I don't care to lean it 15 degrees forward. Um, but I'd rather lean it than not lean it. Gets me in a position here where I can hang on to a nice angle for a little longer. Club lines up with my left arm decently well, and I go ahead and turn through. For some reason, this looks a little lazy to me. I don't know if I just wasn't really warmed up or whatever, but I like the look of it all. Big turn, sit into the ground, rotate, 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 squeeze everything together, up and through. From the back, take away the hair underneath. Club face staying a hair on the shut side. You see that at left arm parallel instead of this toe maybe being a little more closer to toe up. You know, it's like two thirds of the way there. I wouldn't mind opening that club up, aiming it to be a little more above my right forearm early on. But I'm going to end up kind of adjusting, playing in it out pretty well. Hip still back against the wall. As I start forward, my goal is to lower my pelvis a little bit into the ground, flex my legs like so as I rotate, head stays out over the ball, butt's actually gain some depth here, I like that, now I got more space for my arms, keep rotating, right at this time about shaft parallel to the ground, I'm going to go ahead and squeeze my glutes together and everything and rise up and through. Couple things to look for. I want to come as close to my original shaft plane as I possibly can on the way down. You see that club lined up right on my forearm. At impact, I am maybe an inch above that with the club, with the grip. Not much though, pretty close. And we want to arc that shaft around to the left, like so. So, a lot of good stuff there. I like that swing for the most part. I don't like the space right here between my legs. I want them to be squeezing together more, elevating more through impact. But that's improvement from what I used to do. I'm going to show you guys a couple swings from some of the stuff I was working on before. 
So one of my big principles, this was a this was a couple months ago, one of my big things I want to do is shallow the shaft in transition. That means for the club head to move back behind me as my grip moves towards the golf ball in transition. You will see a good example of that here. What that is, is that the golf that's the golf club responding to my body's rotation. There's lots of forces and biomechanical things I could talk about, but pretty much you leave your hands up and wide, rotate your body. That shaft should start to shallow as long as you aren't doing something wrong with one of your arms, um, and as long as your hands are firmly on the grip. And that's what we're after. On the right, I am working my tail off to shallow this club probably for a video I was filming or something, or to show a student, I don't even remember. But you'll see this club flinging around like crazy. Now the problem with that is my legs aren't really even doing anything. So it's this to me looks like I take the club up to the top, shallow it, then swing through. So that's all hands and arms to me. You're going to see this thing get super, super flat. Kind of unrealistic to shallow it that much. So what you're going to see through impact, though, is my head is going to actually lower after I hit this ball. That's something you really don't see on tour. That looks very chasey. Um, I'm not a big fan of that. You're going to see some more space between these legs here. Obviously, that's not a pivot-driven release. That looks more like the club's just flinging through. So from that standpoint, I like this on the left a lot more. You'll see my head start to elevate as I'm heading through the shot, and it just looks a lot cleaner. Here's another example of it. So I've kind of learned about this. I'm a big fan of this kind of shallowing of the golf club responding to my lower body, not intentionally shallowing it with my hands. And that just sets me up to bring it down right on the shaft plane, rotate it around to the left. Maybe that gets caught hair behind me. But the golf shots have gotten so much better than uh, swings like this one on the right, where you can tell I'm really trying to work it with my arms instead of my body. Face on wise, you'll see a big difference too. You're going to see a little more lateral movement here on the right in transition. On the left, a little less. And what I see here is that I'm lowering, I'm squatting a little more as I start to rotate instead of going so lateral early on. On the left, that's going to give me more room to elevate through the shot and just drag this angle all the way around. Instead, when I get so lateral, my club's going to have to flip over. There's a big difference between that angle and this one. I'm a big fan of the one on the left, that's for sure. So, that's me. I got a million swings on here, but I wanted to show you the difference between a couple. Um, always working to stand the club up and not lay it off as much. In this case, it gets a little flat early, but I'm able to manage it, get everything lined up the right way at the top. If that's the case, all I'm trying to do is load into the ground, rotate out of the way squeeze everything together, 
up and throw. Big trunk turn, leave the arms up, rotate, up and throw. That's the deal. I'm looking forward to making this a little better over the next couple of months. I got a couple events uh, coming up. First one's in March. So always working at it. Always putting the stuff into practice that I preach, preach about every day. So there you go. Hope you guys enjoyed that. And uh, I look forward to posting some better swings over the next few months. Thanks for watching.